All right, it's time. The judge has his robe on, the gavel locked and loaded. Let's enter the courtroom. The Fantasy Court with Judge Giamatti. Plaintiffs Jason and Andy are accusing Mike, the fantasy hitman, right of putting a hit out on Carson Wentz's enormous value in 2019. Enormous value? Enormous value. So we're accusing Mike. We're accusing Mike of this. That's darn uh, right we are. Objection leading the witness. Um, <laughs> that's just He's the not the witness. Guy. He's the judge. You're leading the judge. That's acceptable. Yeah, you can You look great judge. today, by the way. Man, so good. That robe. So. <laughs> so black. Basically, this, this uh, discussion, this uh, case comes down to the fact that Jason and myself, very, very. Hi on Carson Wentz this year. He's a my guy for me. Jason, you 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 have ranked him we've, just like I've ranked him. We've both got him as a top five quarterback. Mike, you've got him down at number 10. 10, 10. The double digit numbers. That mm-hmm. sounds disgusting. Here are some thoughts about Carson Wentz. One. Your honor. Please your listen honor. to uh, our plea. Your, your honor. Carson Wentz has already been the number one quarterback in fantasy while he was out there a couple years ago in his MVP season. During that time, he was on pace for 4,000 yards, 41 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. Last year, he was on pace for 4,400 yards, 31 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions, which would work out to more fantasy points. The difference, the only difference, is the rushing totals. Last year, he was wearing this big knee brace coming off an ACL injury and was not running the ball. I expect him to be fully healthy. He has not had a brace on. He is mobile. People are talking about we've got the same old Carson Wentz back, and he has the best receiving core of his career, adding DJX, adding J.J. Arcega-Whiteside, a year two from a rookie tight end, Dallas Goddard, who's probably the best tight end in the entire National Football League. May I, Jason? Yes. <laughs> uh, he also jumped his completion percentage from 60 to 70% last year, had a better passer rating. Was actually playing very, very well. One year removed from the ACL. Now you've got your legs back. you got the ability to run just a little bit more. More confidence in the leg for planting better weapons. We've talked about it. I said it before. Chris Sims came out and said, look, Carson Wentz is the more physically gifted version of Andrew Luck. And we know what Luck has done. Uh Uh-oh. He is being ranked by Mike, in my opinion, and others. The only people that don't have him up in that upper echelon are those that are worried about the injury cloud. It's the basis of availability, not ability. And he's got the weapons. Ertz, Jeffrey, who, by the way, Mike, you love Alshon Jeffrey. I do. Miles Sanders. Mike, you love Miles Sanders. I do. What a pass-catching threat he is. Dallas Goddard, Nelson Aguilar, Djax. Who I do I, love Dallas Goddard. Yes, you do, Jason. And we've broken down just the the tangible, measurable impact that Sean Jackson has is the best deep threat in football on any quarterback he's come in contact to, minus Jameis Winston. Better weapons, removed from injury, proven he can be a top three fantasy quarterback, has a great play, play caller in Doug Peterson, and I will end with this, Mike. Baker Mayfield, you have him at five, you have Wentz at ten, and as Jackie Childs would say, that is outrageous, egregious, mm. preposterous to give Baker, who's never done it, the five rank, and Wentz, who has done it, the ten rank. Uh, I I hear what my colleagues are saying here. I just I'm not exactly sure where to start. Uh, w- let's start with Carson Wentz last season. Full admit admission of guilt would work for us. Uh, yes. Okay. I I will be ready for your admission of guilt. Yeah. Because last year, while he was playing, he was the quarterback 18 in points per game. His 16-game pace, Jason, I am so glad you brought that up. 4,400 yards, 31 touchdowns. That reminds me of a couple fellas. Last year, Kirk (laughs) Cousins, 4,300 yards and 30 touchdowns. Jason, you have besmirched the name of Kirk Cousins as a fantasy player Mm -hmm. last year. Phillip Rivers, 4,300 yards and 32 touchdowns. I love the way he runs the ball. Okay, well, Kirk Cousins, Phillip Rivers, quarterbacks 11 and 12 on the season last year. Let's get to the rushing fallacy. 2017, 
When, when uh, Carson Wentz was your, quote, MVP run, mm-hmm. he was averaging 23 rushing yards a game. That's not a running quarterback. That's a mobile quarterback who can move around in the pocket. That's fine. But he doesn't put on rushing yards. We've only seen him for three years. And his rookie year, we saw a 2.6% or 2.6 touchdown percent. He skyrocketed to a 7.5% on his MVP season. That's fantastic. Unsustainable. You saw him drop to 5.2%, which is a reasonable number. DJX certainly will help him out, but now he's starting the season with a broken finger. I just have Carson Wentz ranked where he is, who he actually is. It's, he's a fantastic quarterback, but unless you aren't giving me those unsustainable touchdown percentages, he is just right there at that quarterback 10 range. I, uh, I have such a hard time, though, with that argument and then looking at somebody like Baker, who you have ranked five spots ahead, who you're going to have to get that kind of efficiency from to be the number five because he doesn't run the football, and he runs it less than Carson Wentz does. But it's not for me to decide. Sure, it's for the judge, but I do want to make an objection. because well, you're My, num- final, my oh, okay, final thought I here I object. is you guys are like, Yes, he has his best wide receivers, uh, the best wide receiving crew of his career. He's got the best running backs of his career as well. And I'm not talking about pass catching. I'm talking about guys who can actually run the ball in Jordan Howard and Miles Sanders. You think that won't make an impact on their decision to run the ball more? All right, compelling arguments. Mike, uh, we accused you of putting a hit out on Carson Wentz's value. I'm still going to object. Okay. <laughs> the 23 rushing yards a game is a rushing quarterback. That's 368 yards a I wouldn't on call the that year. a rushing it, quarterback. No, it's not It's not Lamar it's Jackson, fight, fight, Cam fight, Newton. Fight. Stop it. It's not like you know the, the guys that are rushing for 600. But when you rush for almost 400 yards. It makes a difference. That was the difference between the fantasy finish because fantasy scoring is stupid for quarterbacks on fantasy football. All right, Your Honor. Uh, Judge Giamatti, feel free to weigh in. I rule in favor of... Of the defendant. Oh, you're an Mike ugly Wright. man. You're an ugly He's, idiot. Jason, he still has to rule in a couple more cases. You might want to rein that back. I was talking to Borland over there. <laughs> I wasn't talking to Brooks, <laughs> that handsome chap. <laughs> Come on. I would never. Oh, what a day. Oh, hey, thanks for watching that highlight clip. If you want to see the whole video, you can click down there. If you want to subscribe, you can click over there. That's about all I have for you.